On today's episode, Dad does bad impressions. Uh, a Jack Sparrow and why is the rum gone? He shows you how not to handle sharp objects. Slender, ooh. Dad just manhandling a super sharp blade. And he totally sets himself up for failure. Idiot proof. Dad likes idiot proof. Dad's an idiot. Who got this? Dad got this. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Dad Got This. What are we doing today? It's another product review. The fine people over at Home Geek sent me one of their mini blenders to review. Guess Dad's uh, reviews are catching on, so they reached out to me and asked me, hey, you mind taking a look at our blender and uh, letting us know what you think? So, Dad likes to blend things. Before we get to all that, I need you guys to do something for me. I need you guys to get that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of dad's videos when he uploads them. That's a shame. Nobody wants to be a dad video misser. Dad video missers are very sad. This is a pretty cool little blender. I use a blender for a few things, but for today, dad's getting boozy. This is like my favorite new drink. This is a, a coconut rum. This is ridiculous. I'm not a fan of coconut. Something about that shredded coconut texture, eh, but, Something about coconut rum? I don't know. It's great. I literally get sad when this is gone in the house. I, I pull a, a, a Jack Sparrow and why is the rum gone? We are gonna go ahead and try and whip up a quick little frozen concoction drink using the Home Geek Mini Blender. Straight up, they gave this to me. This is a hashtag sponsored ad, but mm, you know, I still give you my, my honest opinion. They didn't pay me for what to say. They just gave me a blender and said, hey, try it out. Let's open this sucker up. Let's see what we got. Other than the fact that uh, our uh, delivery guy got a little aggressive with his uh, delivering, but hopefully everything stayed intact in here. What do you get in your, hi, in your Home Geek blender? We've got a join the Home Geek super users for more recipes and giveaways. 20% off coupon off your next product. A manual, which is like four pages long, means it can't be that complicated. All right, cleaning and storing. We'll go over this stuff later. We'll do it in more dad got this fashion and just figure things out. All right, we've got what looks to be a ceiling ring in a piece of plastic that I'm just gonna rip. Okay, that's probably gonna go ahead and uh, seal everything to the blender itself. We've got like a little blender bottle, it looks like. Cool. We've got two of these. Awesome, I got like two little sport bottles. That was unexpected. I didn't know that came with sport bottles. Okay. Oh, that's, this is gonna be how you blend stuff. That makes sense. This is one of those upside down blending scenarios. I got stuff everywhere. Uh, get rid of that. We got our tiny little blender. I like it's got a small footprint. It's not gonna take up a lot of space on my thing. We've got this piece here, which is, I guess the blender. Ooh, that's just manhandling a super sharp blade. Something dad would do would be cut his finger off or something in the middle of the review, blood spurting everywhere. It would be fun. Great for YouTube, bad for dad. All right, so this thing looks like it just kind of sits in there. This looks to be an extra ceiling ring because there's already one in there. Like I said, these are things that would help if you read the directions. All right, let me see what it says they gave me. All right, yeah, it just looks to be an extra ceiling ring in case yours goes bad. Pretty cool. This is about as basic as it gets, man. So you got your sport bottle, two of them, which is quite nice. And I'm gonna bet you that this thing does a little bit of this action. Yep. So you're gonna go ahead and fill this stuff up with what you wanna blend. There you go. And are there buttons? There's a, there's a single button, an on off. Idiot proof. Dad likes idiot proof. Dad's an idiot. All right, let's uh, plug away and go get some, uh, some stuff. What are we gonna make this with? We're gonna use some fresh fruit and we'll make a, uh, a 
kid-friendly version and a dad version. Because I have a little kid here who's addicted to smoothies. She's like the smoothie queen. I'll go get her in a second. Hold on. Plug this bad boy in. A little Clark Griswold action. Okay, nothing blew up. We're good. It clicked. That's locked. <laughs> I like. All right, let's get some stuff. Some ice, some strawberries, and pineapple juice. I love pineapple juice in drinks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this sucker up. I lost the lid. I bet you I brought it over by the thing. I'm back, got the lid. All right, we're gonna screw that sucker on there. It's good, we don't have any leaking. Get this bad boy to... Pop that in there. I think we're good. That worked. Will it blend? Yes, it will. Nice seal. Let's pour this up and get our taste tester. Okay, my assistant is getting ready. She has to do her hair and makeup, so it's gonna take a second. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and pour and prep our smoothie for the kiddo. Okay, it's nicely mixed. Kiddo is addicted. It has to have whipped cream and a pink bendy straw. And here comes the taste tester extraordinaire. This is the one and only my daughter, Ellie Belly. And that's why I my hair a little bit crazy. We have made a strawberry pineapple smoothie with whipped cream and a pink bendy straw using the Home Geek Mini Blender that they sent us to try out. I need you to give this drink a taste and let me know. We got a thumbs up. It actually really just tastes like pineapple. You know? Do you like it? Is it nicely blended? It tastes like a smoothie? Perfect. I think it's past the kid test. Now, Gotta pass the dad test. We're gonna whip up a drink for dad. Time for the real test. So I got my fruit in here. We're gonna go with some Malibu coconut rum. I have no clue how much that is. We're gonna go with some triple sec. Once again, no clue. Dad likes to add a little grenadine to his drinks. I don't know why. I think it's the child in me from when I used to order cherry Cokes. Pineapple juice. Looks like a lot of alcohol, doesn't it? Boom. Lid. A little bit of a drip. Blender. Locked and loaded on three, two, one. <laughs> Don't forget. That is very important. Don't forget to do that. I got a guy with a freaking weed whacker. I got the lawn, the backhoe guy over here. I can't win. It's like 17 of these things. So there's one here, we got one there. I got two extras of those. There was an extra one of that thing in here. All right, let's go ahead and pop that sucker on there. Nice little flip top. It's pretty alcoholy. Could actually kind of use a little bit of either more fruit or something to, to, to up the texture. This is a little liquidy. I think we can fix that. Okay. I like this lid. So sport bottle's nice. Okay. Mm. 
You gotta kind of spin this till you get it into the right spot, and then it'll click and lock. Let's go again. All right, uh-oh. Okay, we got an issue. I don't know if dad didn't seal it right or something, but if that maybe that extra, we've got a leakage issue. I don't know if I overloaded. Ah, that's what that is. Don't do that. Dad found out what that extra one was. You know what that extra one was? That was from the blender. I just blended that without the sealing ring. So I got a little bit of splashing and craziness and that explains what I just did. Let me get a rag. Ugh. Remember that part where I said it was idiot proof? Idiot. Okay, that little ceiling ring, this little gray thing popped out when I was last using it. And I think it got stuck to the bottle or something. And then when I put it on the lid, it was double thing. So I just blended without a ceiling ring and it didn't leak, which is pretty damn impressive. So we're gonna go ahead and reseal. We'll pop it back in, or tighten down, we'll blend. It's not that loud, that's another thing, it's pretty good. That's a smoothie with a kick. Let's go over dad's final thoughts here. Dad's impressed with this blender for, I think it's like 29 bucks. That's not bad for $29. It's a small little blender that doesn't take up any space on your countertop and can make you some quick and easy smoothies. You get two of these little bottles and they've got a nice little cap on them. Really easy to take on the go. I like it has this hook. You could hook it on a carabiner. That would work really well. And I think it actually is a carrot. It's like a carabiner. You don't even need a carabiner. Look at that. It has, it's like spring loaded. And it's a blender. It works pretty well. That's about it for this review of the Home Geek Mini Blender. Dad gives it a thumbs up. The kiddo gives it a thumbs up. Even when dad's reviewing a product that somebody was nice enough to send him, you guys know, dad doesn't do outros. So that's it. For more fun and easy recipes, visit dadgotthis.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.